Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be breaking down a new UFC fight confirmed for UFC 279. We have Kevin Holland versus Daniel Rodriguez confirmed. As I just said, uh, this fight is very a very interesting fight. I thought this was probably going to be Kevin Holland versus Wonderboy Thompson initially, but it didn't go through. Now it sounds like Wonderboy is going to be fighting Shavkat Rachmanov, which I do not understand at all. But, because Kevin Holland versus Wonder Boy would probably be interesting on the feet. Shavkat can take him down. I'm not going to get into that matchup here. I'm going to get into this matchup. Now UFC 279 is watchable. I mean, not that we, were, we weren't going to watch it anyways, but it is a very watchable card. We have Leach versus Tony Ferguson, and then this fight's on the card. And then we have, what, Johnny Walker versus Ion Kutalaba, which is an interest, a fun fight. Johnny Walker will probably get KO'd, but it will be a very interesting fight or a fun fight to watch just, just to see someone get KO'd. And then we have uh, Hamzat Chamaya versus Nate Diaz for the main event. But yes, let's get into this matchup. For the physical breakdown, we have Kevin Holland at 23-7 and, and Daniel Rodriguez at 16-2. and two. Kevin Holland is 29 years old. Um, Daniel Rodriguez will have a six year age advantage. Kevin Holland is the taller fighter at two inches. It is in the welterweight division. He will have a seven inch reach advantage for this fight, which is very key. And then of course, D-Rod will have a one inch leg reach advantage. So for how they match up, Kevin Holland is coming up. Well, I guess I just went through how they matched up, but for the previous fights, Kevin Holland is coming off a win over Tim Means by a Darsh choke in the second round. Before that, beat Cowboy Oliver in the second round by KO. Um, D-Rod is coming off, I believe, a hand injury. I'm not too sure. But he fought a year ago against Kevin Kevin Lee. He's coming back now. It'll be a year when he fights on the fight night. Won a decision over Kevin Lee. Did pretty solid in that fight. Did hurt Kevin Lee pretty badly at the end of the second round. But yes, this, this is a very interesting fight just because... Say if Kevin Holland is like 74 inches uh, in the arms, this fight I'd probably edge it to D-Rod, but because of, that, uh, because of the hand reach advantage, it, it's not a very good fight for D-Rod. Is this is a very close matchup in general, so me saying that isn't like offensive at all. This is just a way I'm leaning into the fight. So for Kevin Holland, when he does throw punches, he does kind of lean into his punches a little bit. He's kind of like really weird when he punches. Kind of, I don't, don't want to say dorky, but it's just really odd. If you've seen his last fight against Tim Means and uh, uh, Cowboy Oliver. And then D Rod does like to, uh, does have some really good movement on the feet. So I can see him like getting in the pocket or whatever and going off on Hall in there. But for this fight, I think we'll see a lot of leg kicks. I mean, they, they both have skinnier legs. Even D-Rod, who is like a very heavy guy up top, does have some skinnier legs too. I think that they normally go for quite a bit of leg kicks, so it'll be a leg kicking battle for like, I'd probably say the first couple minutes of the fight. In the first round, I think it will start off a little slow. 30 seconds, 45 seconds in, Holland wants to like check his distance here so he can time his shots with D-Rod. D-Rod will be able to to get inside a little bit more, feel the distance also. So the first round is very crucial early in the first round, of course. And then after that, I think they'll start going. D-Rod is very active on the feet. Same with Holland. Once he gets his distance, he'll start going. So I see this fight going to a decision. I think these guys, uh, Kevin Holland can get knocked down a little bit, but I think the fact that he does have the range, I think he's going to be able to keep it on the outside for most of the fight. I do think Daniel Rodriguez will touch him at some point, and it will it will hurt. Like he'll obviously touch Kevin Holland, but I think he'll hurt him for a little bit. Like maybe wobble him a little bit, rush in. Kevin Holland will circle around, do some leg kicks, maybe throw a couple body shots, and then we'll be able to maintain the distance also, or for the rest of the fight. I see Kevin Holland by a decision, but this is an extremely extremely close fight. But yes, I think the gear off will be uh, not beneficial for D-Rod. I think he's going to have to acclimate a little bit. I think he, after for the for the uh, Kevin Lee fight, 
I think he took that like after one month or something like that, like one month uh, between fights. I don't know who he fought before that, but he's, he was pretty active before then, off a year. I think Kevin Holland's been pretty solidly active. We'll have the crowd to his advantage. This should be a really good fight. Should be a really fun fight. But yes, I am leaning Kevin Holland for this fight. But yes, UFC 279 is finally watchable. Uh, we finally got updates for Colby Covington too. I think I'm going to have to make that video at some point. I'll probably do it this weekend. He does have his what court case on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. I'll make that video on Saturday. I think I'm not going to say who I think he matches up with, but I'm going to make that video. Who is Colby Covington, Covington going to fight on Saturday? UFC Paris, I believe, is the next event. Sunday at 2 p.m. on Standard Time. That full card prediction will drop. Only 12 fights on the card, but the main card's pretty good on that on that card. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.